This week, Costa Rica's Ornithological Society released its official list of birds for 2022 to 2023. And the last year has seen some exciting news for bird watchers. There are six new additions to the list for 2022. Before I get into the details of these six new species, I wanted to briefly explain why new species appear. And at the end of the video, I'll talk a little bit about a seventh species that probably will make the list eventually, perhaps in 2023. It's actually a common occurrence for birds to be added to Costa Rica's records, especially as birding becomes more common as a hobby, so more people are paying attention and reporting the things they see out in the field. For example, the most recent field guide for Costa Rica reports 903 birds back in October of 2013. So in the last nine years, we've seen 26 more species added to the list since then. So adding six new species uh, is about double the average, but it's far from something exceptional. All six of the species that are reported this year are considered accidental sightings. They join 69 other species that are also classified as accidental. What does that mean? Well, there's three reasons that a bird will suddenly appear somewhere that it hadn't been seen before. The first case is Let's say that a bird usually migrates thousands of kilometers to the east. Every year, the entire species does that. And that migration pattern is programmed into the bird's DNA. But say something goes wrong with its internal programming, and instead of going thousands of kilometers to the east, it goes thousands of kilometers to the west. In that case, suddenly a bird that's never been spotted in a certain location is going to show up in a new spot. A second reason why you could get an accidental bird is because of storms. Uh, for example, a hurricane may push a bird or even an entire flock of birds thousands of kilometers from where they would normally be found. And even on a small scale, this might mean that a bird that's normally only found along the coast is suddenly spotted far inland because the storm pushed it far from where it normally would be. A less common but still significant occurrence is when a species range begins to change over time because of changes in habitat and other pressures. For example, the yellow-headed caracara is a very common raptor along the Pacific coast of Costa Rica and even to a lesser degree along the Atlantic coast. But prior to the 1970s, that bird was only found in South America and Panama. However, deforestation in the Chiriqui region of Panama and the Golfo Dulce of southern Costa Rica eliminated that barrier to its, its range, and now that bird is found throughout Costa Rica and even as far north as Belize. So those are three situations where a bird could suddenly end up somewhere where it wasn't spotted before. And in the case of this third and final type where their range is slowly expanding, Eventually, those accidental birds could become a normal bird for an area, like has happened with the yellow-headed caracara. The six new species for 2022, though, are all considered accidental at this moment, and they're split evenly between birds that you find on land and birds that are found out at sea. So let's start with the three land birds. The first one is the crimson-backed tanager. And of the six new species for Costa Rica, this is the one that's most likely to become an eventual resident. It's a common resident in Panama, and it's been spotted in two separate spots in Costa Rica, one in the South Pacific near Uvita, and also it was spotted very frequently over several months in the Caribbean lowlands near Serapiqui. The second situation is a bare-faced ibis. The bare-faced ibis is very common throughout South America, but it's actually rare even in Panama. And on eBird, there's only a single report for Costa Rica from 2019 in the Cotobrus area in Southern Pacific Costa Rica. It was finally validated and added to the list for 2022. And the final land bird report is a very wide ranging goose. The greater white fronted goose is found throughout the higher latitudes of the Northern hemisphere 
across North America and Eurasia. But a flock of five of these geese was spotted for several weeks near the International Airport in Liberia in the North uh, Pacific part of Costa Rica. Now, seabirds, often known as pelagic birds, uh, present a very interesting situation. And many of them spend their entire lives, or almost their entire lives, out in the ocean, very far from land, and we know relatively little about them. In fact, I loved this quote by ornithologist and author Scott Widensall in his great book about bird migrations. He said, The annual movements of such birds, shearwaters, albatrosses, storm petrels, and others, are among the most profound mysteries remaining about migration. In some cases, we're not, exactly, we're not sure exactly which hemispheres they inhabit. To a surprising degree, we don't even know what species are out there still unknown. Really exciting prospect that there's still birds unknown to be found in the world's oceans. And two of the three species that are new for Costa Rica this year fall into that category of mysterious seabirds. However, number four is a little bit uh, more expected. In fact, it's not really all that surprising when you look at it. The lesser, back, lesser black backed gull is an extremely wide ranging bird. It's been spotted on every continent except for Antarctica and it's a far ranging migrant. So it wasn't really all that surprising when it was spotted uh, several times during one week in February of 2022 in Tortuguero National Park in Costa Rica's North uh, Atlantic area. The most unusual of this year's new birds probably has to be the spectacled petrel. First, I have to say, that is a really fun name to say. And as a fun fact for my fellow word nerds, the family of birds known as petrels get their name from the Bible account of the Apostle Peter walking on water, since their flight style makes it appear that they're walking right above the surface of the water. This particular petrel was found thousands of kilometers from where any other spectacled petrels have been spotted. Spectacled petrels normally are found between southern South America and southern Africa. So it was quite a surprise when some par park rangers found a worn out spectacled petrel near Tortuguero National Park in February 2022. So if you want to see rare birds, February in Tortuguero seems to be the place to check. And after giving that bird some treatment for its dehydration and letting it rest, it was released and flew off to destinations unknown. The final official entry for 2022 is a yellow-nosed albatross. Of all the official entries, it's the one that we know the least about. It was spotted by a fisherman off the Caribbean coast and he isn't even registered in eBird, so I don't have a whole lot more to add about that. In fact, the other bird that didn't make the cut for 2022, but will probably be on a future list, is another albatross that was filmed off the coast of Guanacaste in June of 2022. It's not entirely clear exactly what species of albatross it is. In fact, even among ornithologists, there's still a lot of debate over how many species of albatrosses actually exist. And some species are extremely similar, both in appearance and even on a DNA level. However, both myself and some others that I've spoken with are inclined to identify it as a Salvin's albatross, uh, both because of the markings on its body, as well as the fact that it has precedence in being observed in this area. Although it's never been observed in Central America before, uh, Salvin's albatross has twice been spotted in the North Pacific, uh, it, off the coast of Alaska in 2003 and off the coast of California in 2014. So even though normally a Salvin's albatross is only found in South America, throughout the South Pacific and Southern Ocean, uh, it wouldn't be completely unheard of for it to be found off the coast of Costa Rica. But we'll have to wait and see what future decisions are made by the Ornithological Society's uh, scientific committee. So which of these six species are you most likely to see again? Well, there's definitely a pretty good chance that the crimson back tanager could eventually establish itself as a resident here in Costa Rica. In fact, the scientific committee has already classified it as questionable whether it's actually an accidental or if it's really a rare resident. And given its proximity and habitat and other things, there's a good chance that at some point it could become a more common bird in Costa Rica. 
Likewise, the lesser black-backed gull could also be spotted again, uh, given how wide it ranges. On the other end of the spectrum, I would never expect to see a spectacled petrel again, at least here in Costa Rica. It was just one of those weird situations where a bird was found thousands of kilometers from where it's ever been spotted before. In the case of both albatrosses, the officially named and the one that's probably going to be identified in the future, both of them are probably quite likely somewhere in Costa Rica's territorial waters. But as the quote I brought up earlier mentioned, with these seabirds, there's just so much unknown about them. And they're not birds that generally come close to the shore. So if you're going to see them, you're going to be off in a fishing boat or some type of expedition or a cruise uh, far from the shore. So I wouldn't expect to see them unless you're specifically out looking for them. To wrap things up, I just wanted to give a special thank you to both Patrick O'Donnell and Pablo Camacho of the uh, Ornithological Society's Scientific Committee for helping with some of my questions. And also, I wanted to thank all of those that provided footage for this video. Uh, normally, I try to use all of my own footage for my videos, but given the rare nature of these birds, I took advantage of content from fellow contributors uh, to Cornell University's Macaulay Library of Ornithology, as well as Cornell University's eBird Project, in order to provide some footage, and so you weren't just looking at me talking through the course of this entire video. And the sources for all of that footage and links can be found below in the description.